what up, Dead Fam? This is your boy DG back with another GTA 5 Online new solo money glitch video. This video, this glitch is completely new. It does not, with a big N O T, does not include the salt and stat. My goddamn light went out again, man. You guys remember when that happened in a video not that long ago? These fucking cheap-ass light bulbs. All right, so <laughs> this does not include the salt and stack. This is brand new. We're going to be duping Elegy Retros, okay? Now, I want to give a big shout-out to Roll Easy for letting me use his gameplay. His channel will be linked down in the description. And I'm going to tell you guys why I had to use somebody else's gameplay for this glitch. But don't worry, I'm still going to be giving you guys an A-plus tutorial. Um... You need to have story mode progression, which I do not have on none of my characters, okay? You need to be at, I believe it's the 43rd mission in story mode called Minor Turbulence, all right? Now, um, if you have no story mode progression, then it's a good little ride to Minor Turbulence. You know, it's about, I think, like 35% of the game, okay? Now... If you have like 15, 20%, then you know, you're looking at a few hours worth of grind in story mode, probably a couple hours to get to that. And you need to own the Grove Street apartment on Franklin, okay? Which obviously I don't have no story mode progression, so I don't have that. So big shout out to him for letting me use his gameplay here. And um, we can get straight into what you need for this glitch. All right, dudes, what you guys are going to need for this is, like I said, you're going to need minor turbulence in story mode. This is minor turbulence here in the background. It's about 35% and might be a little bit more for some of you guys, okay? Um, so you want to complete this right here. Then after you complete it, you're going to want to go into your phone and do a quick save, all right? You're also going to need to own Franklin's Garage, which I'm going to show you guys exactly where it is here in a few minutes here in the video. So that's what you're going to need in story mode. Now, once you've done that, it's going to take you probably a few hours to do that. Oh, also, um, some tips, guys. You're going to want to make sure, first off, if you've completed past Minor Turbulence, you need to go and load a game save from before Minor Turbulence and then work your way back up to Minor Turbulence. Okay, for you guys that have never gotten this far, you're just going to have to play story mode until you get up to Minor Turbulence, all right? When you do, you want to go ahead and make sure you save it. Now, some tips, guys, on how to get up to Minor Turbulence, whether you're starting over fresh or you're loading a game save from before it, take taxis to each of the missions okay it's faster if you take a taxi and you can just teleport there you know what i mean skip the cut scenes all that kind of stuff right that will make it faster especially the taxis that's very important now um, what you need in story mode i'm sorry what you're going to need online is you're going to need an moc personal vehicle storage in the back of your moc as many fagios as you're going to want to duplicate cars and you're going to want to have a benny's vehicle with a custom plate we're going to be using an elegy retro because it pays the most now once you've completed minor turbulence and you've saved it you need to switch over to franklin and you need to buy that garage that i just showed you right there on the map okay it's like on grove street it's franklin's garage all right it should only cost you about thirty thousand dollars at this point you should have plenty of money all right so go ahead and buy this garage you're all set once you do that on story mode okay and then you can go and jump to your online character to set up your online character before i go any further i need to give a shout out to snoopster he is a member of fart crew big shout out to fart crew and snoopster for finding this glitch right here okay so now once you get onto your online character guys you can just want to go ahead and put all the fagios in your garages that you're going to want to duplicate over and have you a benny's vehicle we're going to be using lg retros in this video because they pay the most do not forget about the sell limits there's a video link down in the description explaining all of it all right so once you've done all that, you want to set your spawn location to one of your garages. That's what we're doing right here. It's one of the garages that we're going to be duplicating out of. Now, once you do that, you want to leave GTA. I suggest you close your application. And don't forget, you need the MOC with personal vehicle storage. All right, so once you've set up story mode, you've set up online, you've closed your app, you load back into story, you want to swap to Michael and get a one-star wanted level. You can do this by, you know, stealing a couple cars or beating up pedestrians. Now, 
This next part right here is a little bit different from Xbox to PS4, so I'll leave a video link down in the description for an Xbox tutorial because we're going to be using the dashboard. So now when the cops come and they go to arrest you and you put your hands up, as soon as you put your hands up, you want to go to pause online, play GTA online, go to an invite only session. As soon as you load up in the clouds, you want to go up to your dashboard, disconnect your internet. All right. Now, once you've disconnected your internet, you can go ahead and go back to the game. And you're going to get an alert that says your internet has been disconnected. Now, you're going to accept this alert, but don't accept it too fast. Just casually accept it and then go back up to your dashboard and reconnect your internet, okay? I think accepting that alert too fast is causing people to get a forever loading screen, all right? So, um, accept it. Go back up to your internet and reconnect your internet. Now, once you've reconnected your internet, you're just going to want to stay up on your dashboard for about 30 seconds. That's the same for Xbox and for PS4, okay? Um, so stay on your dashboard for about 30 seconds, and then, once you've done that, then you will go back to the game, and if everything's done correctly, you should be loading into online. You know, you'll have like this kind of glazed looking screen, you'll get the little orange loading circle on the bottom right hand corner, then it'll say joining GTA online, okay? All these steps here, this is very, very, very easy. But just let me take a moment right here to give you guys some tips, okay? When you do that part right there, and like I said, the dashboard for the Xbox is just a tad bit different. I'm going to leave a video link down in the description. And this glitch is super easy. You're going to be able to dupe really fast. So if you don't mind and you have a little bit of time on your hands, you know, tomorrow, we're still in the weekend. It's worth it to do the story mode to do this glitch. I just have so many dupes and so much money that that's why I didn't do the story mode progression, all right? So, um... Here's some tips here. One, when you go to online and set yourself up, make sure when you come back to story mode, you close app before you start this glitch. Anytime you do this glitch, you need to close application or go straight into story mode to start it. You don't want to go from online to story and then do the glitch without closing application in between. Okay. Here's another tip. If you guys get a timed out alert when you're up in the clouds, you need to accept the alert close application and then load back into story mode and continue doing the glitch when you load back into story mode you should be right there you should be michael just get the stars again put your hands up and do it again you guys see what i'm saying so that is essential that closing app part is very 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 important all right so let's continue on to when we load online all right, dudes, once you guys have done all that, you'll spawn into online and you'll spawn inside of your garage that you set as your spawn location. Your story mode character will split away from your online character. We've done stuff like this before, so you guys are familiar with the, you know, unchecking your network and stuff like that. Then you want to request your MOC. You guys are about to see some dope stuff. This is super easy. Request your MOC and bring it over to your garage that you bought in story mode, the Grove Street Garage, okay? This one right here. Now, we're going to turn all of these Fagios into LG Retros. This is super fast and really, really, I can't stress how easy it is, okay? So we're going to change all them Fagios. We're going to dupe over them and change them into Retros. So you want to call your Retro, bring your Retro over and park it right where we're parked right here. Now your Retro or your Benny's vehicle has a custom plate on it and you're going to change the custom plate to a new custom plate before you sell. So you need other custom plates, all right? Now you guys see the location of the MOC right there? That's where you want the MOC parked. Next step, you want to register as an MC president. All right, now at the back of this MOC right here, this is where our dupe is going to spawn. We're going to go in that garage. We're going to come out. We're going to return our vehicle to storage. We're going to request a Fagio, and we're going to quickly get in the dupe and drive it in the back of the MOC, okay? So we'll go over here to this garage, press right D-pad to enter the garage, and once we get inside of this garage, we're just going to turn around and walk right back outside. Our dupe is going to be there. You have to be quick or it will brick, okay? So as soon as you get out here, we're going to spawn out here. As soon as you get out here, open your interaction menu quickly, return vehicle to storage, and then request a Fagio, then go over and get in the dupe. Quickly press right D-pad and just spam X or A on the alert to transfer the vehicle to another garage. Now, we got a Fagio in the back of the MOC. I'm not sure, like, if it matters if you even have a vehicle in the back of the MOC, but here in this video, we had a Fagio in the back of the MOC. 
All right, so um, we just duped right there, man. It's that simple. Now to rinse and repeat, you just want to go ahead and pull the car out. Go ahead and park it in the same position that we had originally parked it. And just go back into the garage and do it again, man. This is really, really easy, really, really fast. So we're going to go ahead and do it one more time. I'm going to go in the garage, press right D-pad to enter because it's acting like we're in story mode. Remember, this is the story mode garage that we bought in story mode, all right? Then just turn around and walk back outside. As soon as you get outside, again, you have to be quick because if you're not, the car will brick. You want to open your interaction menu. We're about to do it right here. Open your interaction menu. Return that vehicle to storage very quickly. That's your car that was parked on the street. Request a Fagio through your MC. Then get in the car right here. Press right D-pad to enter the back of the MOC and accept the transfer to garage alert. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, you do not want to have any Fagios inside of your MC clubhouse while doing this glitch because it will not transfer the vehicle out of the MOC. All right. So, um, you know, that's just a tip right there. You do not want to have Fagios because you don't know where you're calling these Fagios from. You know, and then you just keep rinsing and repeating. You know what I mean? Park the car over there, go back in the garage, come back out, return it to storage, call for a Fagio, quickly get in the car, drive it in the back of the MOC, accept the alerts, and just continue doing it. This is super dope, super fast, super easy. I will have um, an Xbox, either a video tutorial linked in the description or Xbox steps linked in the description. So you guys on Xbox can do it because I know you guys' dashboard is just a little bit different, but it's basically the same on Xbox. So big shout out to all the founders, big shout out to Roll Easy, big shout out obviously to Fart Crew. The biggest shout out goes to you guys, the dead family, for all the support. I hope you guys are really having an awesome holiday and you're looking forward to Christmas. It's snowing outside right now. Listen, if you don't follow me on Twitter, definitely go follow me down in the description. My Twitter is linked. You know, I give you guys kind of an in a look into my personal life on Twitter with videos and pictures and it's just an awesome experience conversing with you guys on Twitter if you really want to make a connection with me. So, and I actually talk to you guys and answer you guys' questions, not like a lot of, you know, other YouTubers that just don't have time. So, all right, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and slap that subscribe button because we do bring the latest, the greatest, and the realest GTA 5 content always. Slap a blue thumbs up on this video. Remember, subscribe to my second channel. It's linked down in the description. The copyright strikes have started, and at any given time, I could have three of them, and I won't be able to upload on this channel to even let you know that I can't upload. So subscribe to my second channel because I will move all money glitches over there if I lose this channel for temporary. It'll, when I get the three strikes, it lasts for like three weeks where I can't upload. All right. If you're new to the channel, slap the subscribe button on the road to 300k, man, and that's fucking awesome. Till the next one, Dad. Give me live. Peace.